Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carl and in this tutorial segment, uh, this will be video 4.2, we will add the GUI element to the capturing of moves. Um, let's quickly play to see where we left off last video. Last uh, video we implemented the event and we also implemented moves. Okay, so if we play the game, we can see on the right hand side under user values, we have moves. And as we click and click and click away at the puzzle, we will see that our moves uh, increases as, as it should. Now, we need a way to represent that to the user. And we are gonna add that to this really ugly panel of ours. So on a main menu, we have the canvas and then we have the panel. So in scene view, I'm just gonna focus on that. And maybe I will just reduce the height of that a little bit to round about there let's see how that looks in the game that looks much better and um, i'm just gonna change a, a setting real quick um, under the canvas canvas scaler i'm gonna say um, um, i'm gonna switch it to scale with screen size and as you can see that messes up our settings now but that's okay and in the x value we can say 1920 and by y 1080 okay so now we can rescale our very very beautiful panel okay so that setting change also had the uh, added benefit of making our image a little bit sharper um, one tip, when we made this, we set the image value to 32 by 32. That is not necessary. If you make it 64 by 64 or 128 by 128, these, uh, uh, these blurs will disappear because the image will be much sharper. I was just lazy and didn't want to go through all the effort. So, on the panel, we will right-click, UI, Text Mesh Pro. Uh, I use TextMesh Pro. It's not necessary, uh, necessary for you to use TextMesh Pro. And I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to set that to moves. And it looks quite small, so I'm going to bump it up to a 48. And just add a semicolon. So now we can move this to wherever in our scene. I just think this will be a better, it will look better right up here. Uh, maybe a little bit to the right. There we go. So now we can just rename that as moves text. And now we're going to duplicate this. Control D for duplicate. And all I'm going to say uh, here is moves holder. What this is going to do is this is going to be the actual holder for the amount of moves we did. So I'm just going to say 90 just for comedic effect. And now under UI manager, yes, under UI manager, we're going to, um, we are going to manage these values. What we can do is uh, um, another possible way of doing this is to create another TextMesh Pro um, field within our game manager, drag and drop this moves, uh, moves the, the moves holder to that field, and then just set it directly. I personally like the code being separate. So in UI Manager, uh, I'm going to uh, include the TM Pro namespace. Then I'm going to create a region for all my variables. And the first variable I'm going to create, well, with a header. And after I created the header, I'm going to create a text mesh pro UGUI, just like last time. I'm going to call it moves holder. And now we are going to create our own custom event within game manager. Uh, this happens, or you can use this when you want to send custom um, data through uh, with an event. Uh, so under our game manager, under events, what we are going to do is we're going to define a delegate. This delegate will be 
Okay. This delegate is going, going to be public delegate void on move event handler. We want this to happen on move and it's a event handler. The first parameter will be object of source. This is something a lot of C sharp uh, programmers do. It's always nice to know um, who called this, uh, yeah, who subscribed or who called event in the first place. And then our custom dot data is going to be an integer of the amount of moves that happened. So after this, we are going to implement, uh, implement this into an event. Let's just add the event by the uh, other events. Public event. And then we add our custom delegate on move event handler. Okay, with that done, all we need to do is to call it or to implement it. So within cell moved, right on top of here, or right under the new moves are calculated, we, we are going to say on move, question mark dot invoke, and as its parameters, this comma moves. So all we need to do now is in UI manager, we need to subscribe to that event. So in start, we're going to say, no, in awake, we are going to say game manager dot instance dot on move plus equal and please do the typing for me. And now we have access to moves. So all I'm going to do now is moves holder dot text equals to underscore moves dot to string. Now you can argue that you could have done this directly by going to game manager dot instance dot moves. Uh, I just really like doing things with events because let's say you do not want this event to happen. Um, otherwise, you need to update uh, the moves per frame. Uh, that's a bad way of doing it. It's uh, For our project, it's okay. But for bigger projects, that's going to cost you performance. Um, and we can add more and more data here from different parts of the program and still keep UI managers separate from those uh, uh, scripts. So I just like using events in these types of situations. So if we go into Unity, we should, and Control S, uh, uh, this should be working fine. Uh, and before we continue, we should probably drag the moves holder into the, due, uh, into the moves holder field. And now if you play this, this should work fine. So if we solve this, it should revert to zero. Oh, it did revert to zero. Okay, this is, as far as I'm concerned, fine. Because you clicked once, now your moves is one, and now you clicked again to solve it. So your total amount of moves is two. So uh, as far as I am concerned, this is totally fine. Uh, because once it is solved, the amount of moves taken was two. Okay, so in the next video, that will be 14 or 4.3. What we will do is we will implement a reset button that will reset the board to the current state or to the state in the beginning. If we go to game view, it needs to reset to this position. It's a quick bit of code within cell piece and game manager. We're also going to add a button, um, our very first button, yay. Uh, and I will see you then.